everybody, what is up and welcome back to the channel and I am back with another comparison video. I've kind of been on this kick about comparison, com uh, about comparing single cut guitars and I've been actually been comparing this ESP, e uh, ESP LTD EC256 to a bunch of my single cut guitars. Now, if you guys remember in the past, I did a comparison with um, the um, Epiphone versus the PRS, which I have here today. And today, we're going to do the um, EC256 here, the ESP LTD EC256. And we're going to compare it to this Paul Reed Smith SE245, which I love. I love these guitars. I'm a big fan of PRS. I love them, but I'm a big fan of ESP as well. And I kind of want to do a comparison because if you guys watch the videos, in my last video, when I compared this to the Epiphone, I said I would take this one over the Epiphone. So let's see how I feel about these two. Now we're talking about current prices for these are $4.99 to $5.99, depending on what color you get. Um, the current price for this, why you can still get it, is $7.99. It does come with a gig bag. This does not come with anything. But these are being replaced by the Paul Reed Smith Micarta 594s. And um, they're not they're not going to be doing the 245s anymore. They're fading those out. There are a few still out there available that dealers still have for sale. So you can still find them. But once they're gone, I think they're going to be gone. And then the McCarty 594 is going to replace it, which is actually a hundred dollars more. The 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 594s are like eight ninety nine. Um, this one was seven ninety nine. I own two of these. I'm glad I bought them before they did that because I really like these better than the 594s. So um, I just I just like the way they look and, and play. I mean, I don't have anything against the 594, but I hate that wood headstock. Like, if you're going to have a guitar that's got this nice flame top, then I want a black headstock. And then over there, I've got, the, say, a brown headstock for my other one that's over there. And I kind of like the headstocks to match my guitars a lot of times. Um, or at least be black. I just don't like that bright wood that they put on there. If they put like a darker, like a black headstock or a darker wood, it would look better, but it's so bright. I just, I, the aesthetics, I don't like. I don't think the guitar is a bad guitar, but that's a whole other video in itself. But anyway, so what we're gonna do, just like I've done in the other videos, is I'm gonna play two or three riffs out of each guitar, and then we're gonna um, give you my thoughts on what I think. And um, we're talking about um, playability, sound, and best bang for your buck when it comes to the guitars. Um, we're not getting into the specs. If you guys want to see the specs, I've reviewed these guitars, and there's a gazillion reviews out there that can give you the specs. Or you can take the time and just type in and go look it up for yourself, which takes about as much time as typing in sweetwater.com. Um, and if that takes too much time for you, then you probably don't have the time or effort to even buy a guitar in the first place. But anyway, so let's get into it. We're going to jump in. We're going to grab one of these guitars. We're going to play a couple of riffs, and then we're going to switch it up, play the other one, and then I will give you my thoughts. Alright guys, so the first guitar I'm going to play for you guys today is the PRS SE245. I really like this guitar. It's a pretty amazing guitar. Um, I actually own two of these and it's a lot of fun to play. It just sounds really good, plays really good, and big fan of PRS. So let's rip out some riffs for you guys and see what you guys think about this guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys go. There's a couple wrists with the PRS SE245. I hope you guys like that. Let's grab the other guitar. All right, guys, now I got the ESP, so let's rip this one out and see what you guys think about this one compared to that one. <laughs> Anyway, um, 
build quality is amazing on both of these guitars. So build quality is 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 equal on these guitars, one hundred percent. I think the sound is is great on both of them. I do like the sound of my PRS a little bit better. I'd like to hear what you guys think about that. Um, playability, they're both amazingly playable. Um, great guitars that don't wear me out. I can play really quick on them both. So playability, I feel, is, is top-notch on both of them. So I'm going to just give that an equal thing as, as far as it goes. For me, it may be different for you guys, but for me, it's great. Now, on the, the weight um, stuff, I do like the fact that this is a little bit lighter than this one. But I do like that this still gives you that deeper sound that a, a normal Les Paul would give you. Um, but it's a lighter guitar still. Um, I love, I just love the way they play and feel. They just sound really good. Now, um, as far as uh, the price goes, because we're talking about, um, you know, playability, um, sound quality, and the price. So I'd say the sound quality is really great on both of them. I like the sound a little bit better on this one. I'd say the build quality is amazing on both of them. Can't go wrong with the, either one of them. Now, when we talk about affordability, the ESP is going to win in that category because it's less. These are going for $4.99 or $5.99 currently, and these were $7.99, uh, but now, like I said, they're being replaced by the McCarty 594, which is $8.99. Um, so a little bit of price jump. So you have to ask yourself. Now, this does come with a, a, a gig bag, and Paul Reed Smith puts a really nice gig bag. It's really nice padded. This doesn't come with anything, so you're going to have to throw an extra $100, $150 into a case. So that's going to bump up your price $100. So if you were at $5, you'd be at $6. If you're at $6, you'd be at $7. So you have to ask yourself, you know, which one. I prefer hard shell cases. So to me, even though these come with a gig bag, that's irrelevant to me because I buy a hard shell case. So I'm going to have that investment of that hard shell case for my guitar anyway. So that bumps it up another $150. Like I think the cheapest you can get now is about $100, $150 for a decent guitar case. But, um, so you got to add that into your price of it because you always want to protect your instrument. But in the end, um, when it comes down to these two, and I did this in the last video, I said, if you told me I could only pick just one to go play, and that was the one I'd have to take out of these two, um, as much as I love the ESP, I would probably take my PRS in this, in this challenge when it comes to if you just told me I could just take one. Now, for the affordability and price, the ESP beats this hands down, um, and if you guys are looking for a budget, you know, guitar that can shred that you'll love to play, then these ESPs, man, you cannot go wrong with these ESP EC 256s. They're just amazing guitars, and they're awesome. And if you have to ask me which one's the best bang for the buck, it's definitely going to be the ESP over the PRS when it comes to that. But like I said, if you told me I could only have one, I would probably take the PRS over my ESP in this challenge, just because I really like these PRSs, and I just... There's something about them to me, you know, but I love my ESP. And if you guys have seen my other videos, I really love this ESP. You know, it, it kicked the Epiphone's butt all day long. I mean, if you guys are looking for something that'll kick an Epiphone's butt. And, you know, this is this is definitely a rock metal guitar for sure. You know, so is this. I mean, Mark Schumann plays these all the time. So um, they're just great guitars. Um, honestly, you can't go wrong either way you go when it comes to them because I own them both and I love them both. But if we're talking quality, playability, Best bang for the buck, it's still this ESP when it comes down to all three of those categories. Like I said, in, in sound, um, like I said though, you know, when it comes to sound, I love the sound of this one a little bit more than this one when it comes to it. I don't know why, it's just something in my ear and stuff. But as far as playability, I think they both play great. I can play just as fast on both of them. They both feel great. A little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, you know, thinner, lighter. This one's got belly cuts, but this one, I do believe, on the ESP, the ESP does have the carves in it as well. The ESP has a neck carve here, so you can get down on it. And it has the belly cut right here, which makes this guitar very comfortable as well. And a um, little bit thicker neck, but not super baseball bat thick, you know. So uh, this neck is kind of like an in-between of the, the Les Pauls and like this, you know. I do like how thin this neck is. You know, if, if that neck was thinner on this neck, I'd even like this guitar more. So... It's apples to apples when it comes to that stuff, you know. So there you guys go. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. You tell me which one you like better, which one you like sounding better. Have you played these or not? Um, I think they're both great guitars. But if you're a guy that's on a budget and you're looking for a great budget single cut guitar that is not going to break the bank, that's going to hold up and just play and basically and just, just a great guitar, you know, this is it. And the other thing about these, and I didn't say it in the other video, this has split coils as well which is really nice. It gives you more versatility. So this one has a little more versatility than this one or the Epiphone that I, I compared it to. 
So the the ESP has more versatility. So you know, in the end, if you're telling me if somebody was like, you know, what's a great budget friendly, you know, um, Les Paul style guitar that is awesome is going to hold up and is just built really well, I'm definitely going to recommend the ESP over the the PRS because the PRS is a little bit more expensive. You know, I will definitely recommend this, but I do recommend them both. I think they're great guitars, and depending on what you really like and your feel and stuff and, and what you want, it's really going to depend on which one you want to go. But, you know, in the end, you know, if we, if we talk about, like I said, if we talk about quality, sound, uh, playability, and price and stuff, this is a great guitar all the way, hands down, to get that. And this, too, this is a little bit more, but this is well worth it a well worth it as well so you're talking a couple hundred dollars more for this one versus that one so that really boils down to you but i mean honestly you know if i was recommending a guitar a single cut guitar that was you know somebody that was on a budget it's definitely going to be these esps you know even somebody that wasn't on a budget i'll recommend these two i love these man i've gigged with this guitar i've played this guitar i've had this guitar since 2016 so that's eight years i've had this guitar and it's still holding up and going strong still rocking out and just doing amazing i just love them they're great guitars so you really can't go wrong either way so that's enough of me rambling those are my thoughts those are just my thoughts and stuff again no sponsors these are just my guitars this i'm just a guy that likes to play guitar rhythm guitar player that built myself a studio so i could play and make videos and, and do my thing and just enjoy music the way i like to enjoy it and these are just my opinions that's all they are they're just my opinions you know, they don't mean anything, so don't don't freak out on me. So, But I definitely want to hear what you guys think, your thoughts and stuff, your thoughts on these guitars, your thoughts on the ESP versus the PRS, or go back and watch my Epiphone versus the ESP, or you can watch the Epiphone versus the, the PRS as well. I've done that video as well. And um, just tell me what you guys think. You know, I just think these are fun buddy videos to do to compare these guitars. And I feel that, you know, it's, 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 a, you know, it's a pretty good comparison when you're talking about something that's budget friendly over something that's a little bit more high end and I feel that you know these ESPs are definitely comparable to these 100% you know so if you're asking me that definitely 100% they are comparable for sure and I think you get a, a better bang for your buck when it comes to this guitar so I'll say that so there you guys go I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the video just get out there keep rocking and leave your questions and comments down below you guys know what to do to support the channel we'll see you guys on the next video